Hello everybody, this is Terry coming to you with this solar eclipse in Libra happening on Wednesday, October 2nd, 9.17 a.m. And this solar eclipse, as we're in this eclipse portal, we have a lot of really heavy plutonian energy coming in so i'm sending you all just a little bit of distance reiki from this healing river here in oregon and just take a moment and let's breathe it in i'm a scorpio and i will get you through all of this pluto energy And I've been listening to some other astrologers. I love to listen to all the astrologers and do all my research. And so many astrologers are like, dark night of the soul. It's so intense. It's so hard. It's so scary. And as a Scorpio, I'm like, feels like a Wednesday to me. I don't know. I don't think it's that scary. And I actually believe that we have so much potential here to manifest our ideal life and there's actually a lot of rainbows and unicorns to be found in this grand trine transit that we have been in since the beginning of this eclipse portal if you haven't already go back and watch my super moon pisces lunar eclipse where we talk all about the kite transit, Grand Trine kite transit, that's actually so auspicious. And this is a rare alignment. We may never see this alignment like this again in our lifetime, I pretty much guarantee you. And this is our opportunity. Trines are always opportunity. Grand Trines are like a really big opportunity to shine. We've been under all those squares, those diamond making pressures, but now we have this grand trine that says the, the diamond is finally complete. The diamond can shine. It's light now. And this is a new moon to set powerful intentions under this eclipse and get really clear about what you want to manifest and know your why because sometimes if you're trying to manifest something and it's just not coming to you for one it could be that you're not an energetic match to it yet and you need to raise your energetic vibration like we do in my reiki classes reiki classes are all about opening your heart chakra to raise your energetic vibration so you can be an energetic match to what you desire but it also might be that you're not manifesting it because the universe doesn't understand your why. I always remember one of my friends became a realtor and he was struggling and he didn't have any clients. And I said, why did you become a realtor? And he said, because I want to make a lot of money. And I thought, that's not a good why. <laughs> you become a realtor because you want to help people find their dream home. You become a realtor because you love shopping on Zillow, you love looking and scrolling for homes. You become a realtor because you're obsessed about the housing market and watching the ups and downs and all of that. You don't become something just because you wanna get something else. That's just not quite a compelling why. So this is a new moon to sit in quiet reflection, meditation, get out your journal, write about what you wanna manifest and get to know your why and give the universe that compelling why you want to manifest. Because this new moon Libra is going to go into the most potent, powerful super moon of all four super moons. We've had four super moons in a row, but this one is in Aries. And this is the hunter moon. Picture yourself like a hunter. You're on a hunt for what you want to manifest. And the, this supermoon is at closest perigree, meaning it's gonna come in the closest to our Earth. It's gonna be the biggest, brightest supermoon of all four supermoons. And this is a manifesting moon. 
So write what you want to manifest and really do some journal writing, delving into your getting to know your now. And this eclipse portal that we're in right now is such an auspicious time for prayer, for meditation, for chanting, for getting a Reiki class, for doing all of that work, that energetic work. Because when you do a chant or a prayer or you get a Reiki attunement, it counts like a thousand times stronger. So I am teaching a Reiki class on Sunday, October 13th. We will still be in the Eclipse Portal. I know so many of you have been asking me when I'm going to teach a Reiki class and I wasn't sure I wanted to teach it during this Eclipse Portal because there's a lot going on energetically. But y'all convinced me, so it'll be on Sunday, October 13th, just a smaller class, which is five students, and at my home spa in Bend. And then I also have a distance Reiki online class now available on my Teachable. I'll put the link down below, and you can also get it for just a limited time during this Eclipse Portal. I'm making this distance Reiki class available to my YouTube members. Those of you who have joined my YouTube membership under Reiki Tribe. If you're in the like advanced membership, you'll get it as well. But you have to be Reiki Tribe or above to receive this distance Reiki online class. It's going to be going just through October 30th. Because October 30th, this eclipse portal will be completed just before we have that new moon in Scorpio on November 1st. So it doesn't end on the Aries full moon. It ends when that moon, when this new moon in Libra, that is this total solar eclipse, when this new moon Libra becomes a full moon in Aries and then two weeks later it wanes into nothing, right? That's when we count the end of that lunar cycle. So that date is October 30th. So I'm just gonna make that Reiki class. I always do everything. I do all my business stuff online. Uh, everything is done through astrology. I'm always checking the astrology before I launch or do anything. And I still am having my Eclipse astrology chart sale all the way through the October 18th. Um, that will end on that super moon in Aries, October 17th, sorry. Um, that is when my Eclipse Astrology sale will end. And for $88, you can find out where all of these eclipses are in your chart with a full description. And then I send you distance energy clearing and Reiki as well. So get in on that. It will all be down in the description. And this eclipse on the new moon for Libra is a culmination of timelines. This eclipse portal that we're collectively experiencing. It is collectively awakening us all. Do you feel this collective awakening happening as we head towards that Aries supermoon? Isn't it amazing that we all chose to be right here, right now, ushering in this new birth, this new earth that we are birthing in and this timeline that is coming in, is coming in so strong right now. It's really bringing us a higher vibrational energy of peace, joy, harmony, love, and the most copacetic energy. So I don't want you to get caught up in whatever you're seeing on the news that is the old paradigm crumbling as Pluto is at that critical degree of Capricorn, 29 degrees, we're seeing some old world crumbling, but we're still riding that roller coaster before we arrive at our final destination, which is the paradise here on Earth that we are heading towards, and we're so close. This is a time when we have to be so energetically careful as we're birthing in this new way forward, this new momentum. We have to make sure that we let love rule and not fear, not hate, not division, 
And this is a time on this new moon Libra. Libra rules over relationships, harmony, peace, love, ruled by Venus. Venus who is rising all year. Venus is going to be in that most pivotal point in February 2025 when love really rules in February 2025 Venus rules over Libra and this new moon Libra is saying we've all got to collectively awaken in our hearts to manifest this new world forward so get into your heart space do whatever that looks like for you and always choose love and compassion and forgiveness no matter what is going on that is trying to pull you back into that negative 3D world, you've got to rise to that fifth dimension, that higher vibrational love dimension. By choosing love and choosing joy through forgiveness for everyone and everything that has ever happened to you, you just gotta forgive it all on this new moon. And there is an integration of these higher vibrational love energies happening on our planet right now and it is for some people it is like a detoxification progress there's a lot of old crap coming out you know a lot of old past stories old past struggles or maybe you're going through a struggle or a dark night of the soul like so many people are that is just clearing you out of some old dark energies to prepare you for this collective awakening as we enter the Aquarius age soon. And we're in a period of recalibration and reset that requires more rest than usual. And let me know in the comments if you're feeling exhausted, if you're feeling tired, if you need a nap, <laughs> if you need to just be quiet staring at a blank wall because we're all just cleaning up our vibrations now. And this work happens best when we are sleeping, when we are quiet, when we are releasing our old vibrations, our old paradigms, letting go of worn out things, worn out relationships, limiting beliefs. We're just cleaning house and Virgo season is a good time to clean house, declutter, do your smudging, do your energy clearing, get a space clearing. Now we're moving into Libra that also wants us to clean up our heart, clean up whatever needs to be cleared energetically in your heart space. And there's still these ascension symptoms happening and I'm planning on doing a Reiki activation video soon to support this massive collective awakening shift that we're undergoing before Pluto moves into Aquarius. Stay tuned for that. I'm gonna make sure you subscribe and get the notification so you could be here for when I do this Reiki activation. I might do it live. Some important transits to just pay close attention to during this last lunar cycle of this eclipse portal a uh, moon saturn conjunction on october 13th in pisces this can really bring up some heavy deep emotions feeling burdened by your emotions so just know that it will get better this too shall pass but it's not a great time to be bringing up all the things in your relationship. It could be overwhelming when the moon conjuncts Saturn. And especially if you're a Pisces or a Virgo. And then we have this insane Aries super moon, of course. The hunter moon that will be in that closest perigree. And that moon just after that will conjunct Uranus and Taurus because of course we go to Aries and then just after is Uranus and Taurus just the day after that supermoon we'll be really activating our fight or flight stress hormones that will be triggering our hypothalamus 
our survival instincts. We'll get into that reptilian brain where we can just really act out and be <laughs> some unexpected events. And this is going to create a super moon with a little bit of chaos happening. We can have sudden emotional outbursts. You know, this is one of those times I say, write it in your journal, don't say it if you're mad. <laughs> and there's a reckless need for excitement. So this can be a dangerous moon conjunct Uranus where I would not want to be on the roads that day and something downright strange could occur in our world. And Uranus is always extraterrestrial entities, extraterrestrial aliens. Could we have something just really wild and strange? It's always hard to predict when it's Uranus because Uranus is the planet of unexpected outcomes and things you cannot predict. So I can't really say, but that super moon being so close to the earth conjunct uranus it's gonna get crazy town on this full moon and i will talk more about that when i do the super moon in aries I'll, I'll really delve into it but then we also have jupiter and gemini going retrograde on october 9th mark your calendars jupiter and gemini the king of wishes this is an opportunity for granting miracles to all my Gemini friends. And it's a good time to really know your why and what you want to manifest and ask, believe, and receive. But when Jupiter goes retrograde on October 9th, it goes travels all the way back to Taurus. Taurus, who just had two years of Gemini. It's like Santa Claus is coming back. Maybe you didn't get what you wanted. You get one more chance, Taurus, to ask, believe, and receive for Jupiter to grant your wishes. And this will be your last chance, Taurus, for the next 12 years. So, make it count. And then Pluto is going to station direct on October 11th. This is really big. Could we finally be over this Capricorn 29 critical degrees? Whew. can we move forward finally? It's going to take a really long time because Pluto is very slow moving. So it's gonna still take a hot minute to get there. But when Pluto stations direct on October 11th, Pluto will be coming in so strong and intense that day Mark it in your calendar so you're like, what is going on? So often, all of y'all, you email me, you text me, you say, oh my God, what is going on? You got to start putting these things in your calendar. <laughs> so you can look at your calendar and go, oh, it must be because Pluto just went direct. I'm feeling all the feels and something crazy's happening. That's what's going to happen. And Venus is in Scorpio right now. I love Venus and Scorpio. If you are a Scorpio, this is your time to manifest love and money. Does it get any better than that? If you could just have love and money. When I do all these astrology readings, everybody's like, I want love. I want money. I want love and money. That's all we really want, it seems, is love and money and happiness and joy. And Venus is moving so fast that next month she's already going to be in Sagittarius. And on election day, Venus will cross that galactic center. I keep talking about this. If you know about the galactic center, it's that powerful, pivotal point where Kamala Harris has galactic center right on her midheaven. She is stepping into her divine feminine power as Venus crosses the galactic center Let's all vote for Kamala Harris. I try not to get political, but it's just too damn important this year. So I do believe she will win. And I know I got to do that election astrology chart super fast. I've been, gosh, so busy with uh, reading all your eclipse astrology charts, but I'm going to try to get that out soon. And how are we this close to the election already? Where have the weeks gone? It's just been flying by. But I want to read for you now the Libra Sabian symbol for this 
new moon solar eclipse. It is so soothing. It's like a mother's lullaby. I just felt so relieved when I read this because it's, I think it's the medicine we need right now. So here we go. Having passed safely through narrow rapids. Whew, that was close. <laughs> we almost got sucked into that narrow rapid. Having passed safely through narrow rapids, a canoe reaches calm waters. And the keynote is the self-control and poise necessary to reach a steady state of inner stability. And here we are dealing essentially with the emotional life and its crisis. Interesting as our supermoon eclipse, Sabian symbol was all about catharsis. If you watched my Pisces lunar eclipse, it was catharsis. And now we are dealing with the calm that comes after crisis. Just breathe that in for a moment. Now we find ourselves at the next concluding symbol that brings us perfection and smooth working of our intellect, ruled by logic and simplicity of means. We can think clearly, we can see clearly now, right? An inner revelation may have brought about dramatic confrontations but now it can be meditated upon as it is reflected in the calm waters of the mind. And the key word here is relief after crisis. And this is a time to get your waters clear, to just come back down, to go out in nature, to sit on a on a rock in the water and let your mind get calm like the calm waters do your meditation do your yoga do your deep healing and really feel that everything is going to be okay that all is well in our world because this is the calm after the canoe almost <laughs> almost crashed but now we have relief after the crisis and i think it feels really good i hope you have a magical new moon libra eclipse and i will see you next time when this eclipse portal is getting closer to the end when we have that aries super moon we'll unpack all of that soon thank you